What's up guys, I'm at SEMA, I'm at the AEV booth, and they got some awesome vehicles you guys need to see, but uh, Cash here is gonna tell you all about them. Hey everyone, now this is our concept vehicle, the Outpost 2. Um, it's a project that started about 10 weeks ago, and here's the conception of it here. So, basically, I mean, I know it's a Wrangler, but what, what's going on? What is this exactly? Uh, so this is kind of like, if you're familiar with like a Class C motorhome almost. Nice. This, this camper on the back has a pass-through, so there's a curtain that goes oh, behind the seat there nice. so you can get into the back of it. Um, it's made out of a honeycomb composite material. It's lightweight. So it's really lightweight. As you can see on the top portion there, that's kind of a clamshell that opens up to a 45 degree angle. Oh, cool. And then that's all a tent material around that. And then you have your bed up on top. Nice. Um, place for generator, you got your solar panel that covers the whole top of the roof there. It's got the batteries on board, so you got all the power you need. Cool. For the guys who don't know who you guys are, mm -hmm. kind of go from front to back and point out all your guys' equipment, because there's a lot going on here that there's you may a, not know about, there's right? There's a lot going so on Let's there. start from the front and work our way back. Let's start with our uh, stamp steel uh, front bumper. This is our premium bumper. Uh, you can fit up to a Xenon 10,000 pound winch. Uh, this is all stamped steel and crash tested, so everything is going to operate and function just like uh, the Jeep should be if you were in an automobile accident. Nice. Um, all E-coated, powder coated, and then uh, all the hardware is corrosion resistant. We have our stamped steel hood. So this is uh, just like a factory hood would be as far as the manufacturing and assembly of it. You have your venting here. The beauty about this here is as the air comes across and, and goes across this ridge here, it creates a low pressure. It kind of creates the pressure on there so it helps keep the downforce on the oh, hood. Oh, I got you. Jeeps are kind of known for going down you next to a semi truck, you know, <laughs> yeah, and that's true, yeah. fluttering on you. So <laughs> oh yeah, and you have a vent here that. as well. Huh? So that helps get the heat out of it. Gotcha. We do uh, Hemi conversions. This one's got a 5.7 uh, Hemi in it. Oh, nice. Uh, we do a 5.7 or a 6.4 uh, conversion. And then you guys are famous for your wheels too, right? Got our wheels. This is our newest wheel. This is called the Bora. It's a kind of a three-way wheel. You can run the wheel with no ring at all. You could run the wheel with that ring, which is what we call a protection ring, which is a simulated beadlock. Or you bring that tire bead to the outer side, and then we have our forged beadlock ring. Oh, so okay. it could actually be a beadlock. So you get a lot for your money when you, you buy it. A lot for your money. Yeah. You can do it in stages. You can start off, you know, buy a regular wheel. And you get a little bit more money, you can go to the beadlock or another Nice, room. nice. Um, this Jeep's got our four and a half inch suspension on it uh, with 37 inch tires. It's got our uh, Bilstein 8100 uh, uh, shocks on it. They'll be coming soon with our high capacity coils. That's what's kind of the concept of having this bigger vehicle supported by our new high capacity coils so yeah, you got more weight on guys on. you know yeah. need that extra capacity absolutely uh, let, let's go over here and talk about your snorkel this is uh made out of cross things polyethylene and it's uv treated so it can be out in the sunlight not to worry about getting faded on you like mm -hmm. other plastic the filter on top is our two different versions that's our pre-filter so as the dust comes up through there, there's a little propeller in there. Yeah, like a cyclone. cyclone. Cyclone, exactly. Uh -huh. Helps eject the larger particles. Yeah, I heard the guys, what, in uh, Australia use this a lot, right? That's the biggest yeah. thing, you know, when you drive, the mm -hmm. dust and silt down low. You didn't have the snorkel. You know, mm -hmm. snorkel's good for water, but it's also really good for dust and dirt. <laughs> yeah. The dust and dirt's down low. Yeah. That way you're getting cleaner and fresher air up top. Nice. Can we get more detailed look at the uh, inside of this or we're not ready to show the inside. oh darn it you're gonna show that off at overland expo yeah you check i us hope out so overland expo west yeah yeah we'll what, uh, so let's let's at least look at the back then uh, what's going on back here so you were talking about uh what's in here basically it's all rv stuff right you have a toilet water yeah, sink all that stuff it's still kind of in production so oh okay a, you know it's got a water holding tank gotcha gotcha that yeah. makes so sense it's, it's purely still concept so gotcha. like I, I like the fact though that you can pop this up and make it tall can you still get in there i mean and live in it without the top up if you wanted to yeah i mean it's you know you'd have to kind of crouch it'll be lower bit, obviously it's eight feet tall once that thing's up there so oh that's feet that's a lot of room yeah nice Cool. So let's move on to this truck here. You guys are like famous for Dodge trucks. 
It seems yeah, like every so time I come to your booth, you guys always have Dodge trucks. We released the Ram, first Ram truck in 2013 SEMA. Mm -hmm. You know, we showed one with 40 inch tires and just three inches. I was here for that one, yeah. yeah. Uh, so in the last, uh, last SEMA, we debuted the Ram Recruit, which is a 1500. Mm -hmm. This has got our four inch uh, dual sport lift on it with 37 inch tires. Nice. It's got our new Mesa wheels uh, for the Ram. They're an 18 inch uh, wheel. And then we've just recently uh, launched the front bumper, which looks similar to our HD bumper, but there is some differences. So let's let's point out the differences since we're here. Uh, so the back structure has gotten lighter. The 1500 just isn't as stout, okay. suspension-wise, as like the HDs are. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the stuff you can't really see. It's all on the backside. Oh, okay. One spot though, these are aluminum versus our. Uh, higher ones that are on the uh, HD bumpers. What was the concept behind going with aluminum? To lighten everything up. Oh, just to make it lighter. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. So it's still gone through all the testing, mm -hmm. everything just like an OE testing mm -hmm. would be. So it's not just uh, aluminum and you're <laughs> gonna break something. It's still gotcha. more than adequate for a half ton truck. Nice. Re recruits, we put our HD hood on them, an HD grill. So this doesn't look like your standard 1500. It's got an HD conversion on it. Very cool. And then uh, towards the back here, what are you guys calling this, by the way? This thing. What do you guys uh, we call these? Haven't released that yet. We don't have a technical name for it. It's <laughs> just our, our a rack that uh, this is the newest one we've shown here at SEMA. It's got a yeah. little bit more different attachment points. And oh, okay. I noticed that a lot of guys are coming out with these rack systems now. It's becoming really popular. We have a lot of the overland yeah. community with uh, mm -hmm. you know, rooftop tents. Rooftop tents, yeah. exactly. They're pushing the pushing you guys to do these. Cool, and then there's something I really like about you guys as well. This bar that protects yeah, the entire so truck back here. When you go off road, you know the most vulnerable part is that rear corner. You yeah. Know, you come off a ledge, hit a rock, stomp, mm -hmm. what have you. That's uh, the part and that, that bar goes all the way under to the frame, all right? Back the chassis. So. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Very cool. And then the last truck. What's different? I think I saw this at Overland <laughs> Expo, right? Or a version uh, of it. A version of it. It was a different yeah. color. That was granite color. That's right. Um, we showed this truck in a white version in 2014. That's right, I remember that uh, one too, yeah. It's such a great looking truck. <laughs> it's it's just awesome. a good one to, to bring back to SEMA this yeah, year, yeah. Uh, to kind of go with all our other vehicles. So for the guys that d didn't see this truck before, just a quick fly through of what we're looking at here. Well, we start over here on the side. Okay. So we do three inches of lift. Uh -huh. And how we achieve that big a tire is when we lift that vehicle three inches, we move that axle forward an inch and a half. Yeah. This is the most vulnerable spot there for when you get in a tire rush. Yeah. So moving that axle forward and using our high mark flares, that is a, you know, you got to remove sheet metal, yeah. put them on. Now you have the clearance for the. That's a that's tire. a big opening, man. That's huge. A big opening, but yeah. you know, when you go off road, you it's need still it. the turning part. Yeah, you need it. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Has our same front bumper, uh, our HD bumper, which you can do it different ways as far as if you want to run the factory fog lights or a Vision X cannon light or light of choice. Place for a light bar on the, the front. And, uh, got our HD uh, hood on there. And there's that Cyclone. Uh, and raised air engine. Now, when I when I was at Overnight Expo, everybody kept asking about this uh, truck bed. Let's, let's talk about that real quick. So what are you? What do you? Well, the, what is the, this? The truck bed. This is kind of a, a not our bed. This is yeah. a, you know a Ute bed from Australia. We've just made it work on this particular long bed truck. So because everybody was asking me and I didn't really I didn't know the answers. I didn't want to tell them something that wasn't true. I'm assuming the sides come down, but it's not a truck. It doesn't dump, right? Doesn't dump. Yeah. The sides do come down. Yeah. Uh, so we call it a tray bed. Yeah. Um, and you know our custom wheel liners there for the. Uh, to fit these big wheels. There the tire size. And then it looks like you got a headache it's rack. A few features to it. Headache rack is standard and then our uh, tire carrier mount. There you go. All right, guys, so there you have it. That was a quick fly through at the AEV booth. I appreciate your time. You guys have awesome stuff. Let's end this with a, a website if you guys want to check you out some more. Yeah, visit us at uh, www.aev-conversions.com. Please hit that like button to support my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the vehicles I saw at the AEV booth at SEMA.